everyone, Comic Reviewing here, this time reviewing on Arietti, Ghibli Anime Film Review. Now, as you know, Arietti is a 2010 animated fantasy film that was directed by Hiroshima Yonbanji, as well as being an adaption or mainly based on the based on the nineteen fifty two book The Borrowers that was written and created by English author Mary Norton. Now the premise of the movie is meant to be about a young boy named Sho who remembers the weeks he spent summer at his mother's childhood home and when you kind of got his grandmother driving him, it's like when we're, we're, we're like when we were kids, driving to our grandmother or grandparents' house. And what's interesting is Sho sees a young borrower girl known as Arietti. And of course, when Arietti a um kind of starts borrowing with her father Pod, as well as gathering for things that gathering things that they'll eventually need that people don't need anymore, like the borrowers. We'd slowly see Arietti and Sho slowly coming together, and we kinda see how Sho wants to know more about Arietti's world, and Arietti slowly kind of learning more about the other borrowers that there may be, as well as learning, as well as learning that not all big people are bad, and I think the movie does miss a few marks. I think when you've got the housekeeper Haru, who who, who kind of wants to find out and capture the little people, I kind of feel like. They could have had her as a former researcher and could have used her to kind of prove the existence of the borrowers. Kind of like Simon the Monster Hunter from Our Real Monsters, or kind of like Denzel Crocker from basically Fairy Odd Parents. And I think they do it, but it's slightly less off. And I feel you could have had her prove the existence for her father, who, who is now deceased. And I kind of feel as well with the film is that we do see how Arietti, her father Pod, and Arietti's mother basically use what they can to get around. We basically see how they kind of band together, but you can tell that as soon as their existence gets found out, they have to basically move away. And you can actually tell that Arietti's mother is a bit more, like, disappointed. And you can tell her father knows this is for the best. And you can tell Arietti does take some blame for it, but not too much. And what's actually interesting is there were two versions of the dub. The one I watched is the UK dub done by Studio Channel in 2011, and given the fact I live in the UK, this was the one I had, and there was the Disney one that had familiar voice casts like Bridget Mandler, as well as Will Arnett, and what's actually interesting in the English dub, you actually had Mark Strong, Susie Ronan, as well as Tom Holland who plays show. So, I do think the movie misses a few marks. I think it could have focused the same time Sho learning more about the Boers and could have had his grandmother have a friend who kind of tells the story. And I kind of feel you could have had him learning more about his... M about the childhood home in that. Which they do, but it seems a bit missed off. And I kind of feel the ending could have had Haru following show to the basically ending point where uh, in that leave off plans to threaten him in that for ruining her chances and you could have had the grandmother showing up to say i think you've done more than enough 
to kind of show that, yeah, she's fired now. And I do think Show's name wouldn't really work. I think they could have gone, gone for Show like Liam, Nigel, or Peter. I kind of feel Harrow, you could have had Margaret, or Sandra, or, or Elaine. But I think the movie definitely keeps true to what the Bowlers were. Again, if you watch the movie with John Goodman, you know it's the Bowlers. If you watch the kind of t like TV movies, then you know the Bowlers. So I think the movie's definitely not too bad. Un mainly unlike Wisp of the Heart, it kind of leaves a proper ending. And I think it does end the film there and there. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still right. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.